Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. We're coming at you with a crazy different angle today, different look. What we're doing is we're pulling some orders. I had a really good sales day on eBay, eight sales. I'm looking over my screen, of course. That's why I'm not looking at you guys. Uh, $366 in sales, so really good sales day. And then I got a bunch of stuff here on my desk where I'm gonna talk about I'm getting stuff ready to go out to my collectibles booth. So yeah, I'm gonna flip you around. We're gonna go pull some orders throughout the office. We gotta go out that door, go into the garage where I have my storage area, get those items too. So we'll flip around, then we'll come back. We'll finish the video up. It'll be all right. This'll be a good video. So let's get going. All right, let's check out that eBay screen. Like I said, I have eight orders, $366. Pretty good day of sales. We still got my little Rolo printer here. Really enjoying having this new little thermal printer. It's been working out really good for me so far. Started to get used to having it and everything. But yeah, we're going to pull some orders. Uh, we're going to go in and out of the garage. We got to go get some cards. You can see I sold a card here. That's in the garage. That's in the garage. That's in the garage. So let's go out there and pull a few things. We'll pull a couple things, then we'll come back and see... Uh, See what else we're going to do. So let's go ahead and go out there. I'll kind of show you the little setup. We got to spin around. I don't want to do it too quickly and make you dizzy. But this is a trip that I make, oh, it seems like hundreds of times a day where I got to go out here through the laundry room, go into the garage where it's like, look, pitch black. So we're going to open up the garage door and uh, go over here and get some stuff. Now, it's still pretty messy out here, but I'm staging some stuff to go over to the local auction. So all those bobbleheads are going to go. There's another box over there that's going to go. There's another box. And a lot of that stuff's going to be gone, hopefully, within the next few weeks and clear this out. But look at this. Packing peanuts on the floor. We got bags of peanuts everywhere. We got mailers. We got There's just... Uh, luckily, I have this one little walkway where I can get to my stuff because, oh, my gosh. I had this so nice and clean out here for a little while, and now it's just a... Uh, disaster there is stuff everywhere out here but that's not what we're talking about first right up here we got to get this little mini football helmet little oakland raiders little mini helmet this one's kind of cool actually it has a metal face mask so it has kind of like an upgraded face mask from the ones that you get today is made of metal this sold for i believe 39.99 plus shipping so uh, that's pretty good little sale this was a, an estate sale pickup i believe i paid 10 dollars for that we're gonna set that right there for a second because i need another football helmet but it's back in the little helmet area. Let's see, where is it back there? Oh, right there. I can see the pitchfork. That's the one I need. Get these helmets out of the way. Come here, ASU helmet. We need you. Oh, see, it doesn't fit. So I got to lift this shelf up just a little bit. So I got to use my elbow here real quick and go like that to get this helmet out. Full size helmet, mini helmet, full size helmet. This is one of these though. This is the shut replicas. This is the kind that you use for autographs or just for display. So they, they put the ear pads in a little back thingy here, but there's no pads on the inside. But they're still really, really nice helmets. This one I found used in a thrift store for under $10. And I sold it through offer. So I think I had it in my store for 80 bucks, which you may see that price on the screen. But I actually sold it for $63.99, so like $64 is what it's for. And this actually took a long time to sell. This probably took over a year before I got the sale. I was actually thinking of taking it to my collectibles booth, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get these two little helmets inside. We'll grab these. We will go over here, we'll go through the door. You see my tower of boxes over there where I keep everything, but uh, yeah, let's get back inside. All right, so normally as I'm getting ready to, to pack my orders and getting stuff set up, I put it right there, but this is where I have all the stuff ready to go to my collectibles booth, and it's kind of a mess. So today we're just gonna set, set everything down here on the floor next to some cards that are ready to go out to the booth some other cards that are in prep some stuff that's over there there's stuff everywhere in this office all right let's spin back up we got to go back through here we got to go get another item that's in here so go back through the door like i said i make this trip gosh it seems like a hundred times a day as i'm doing stuff but we got to go right here i actually just listed this right here this Wii Bundle. I, I found a console a couple days ago, so I went and tested it. It didn't have a whole lot of parts with it. Luckily, I had an extra AV cable. It did have one of the Wiimotes or the remotes that was in there, uh, and I had a copy of this sitting around. Now, this it was fairly scratched up, but I played it. I played a couple levels. Everything went good, so even though it's scratched, it's complete in the box and definitely makes your Wii Bundle uh, stand out versus putting a junky game with it. But uh, yeah, for one Wiimote, the game... And Super Mario Bros. I think it went for $70 plus shipping. Now, I know you can get more for Wii's if you put two of the remotes, a couple nunchucks. I just didn't have all that. So, I figured I'd go ahead and get the 70 bucks for this. And it sold pretty quick at that price. So, let me carry this inside. All right. We're back inside. And this is going to get kind of messy today. I don't really have a good spot for it. So, I'm just going to set it over here out of the way. And then we're going to rotate over. Now, I know I have a couple cards that I got to get. So, we're going to switch. 
slowly this way and we're gonna get over to my card box yeah I have a little pile of ones down there don't come in here and steal my money we gotta look to this box right here this is where I keep some graded cards that I have for sale we're looking for a 19 why is that card upside down it should be over there we're looking for we it's in here somewhere this one right here we'll flip around this is drew pearson's rookie from the dallas cowboys this is one that i did send in myself to get graded graded a 6.5 by sgc there's what it looks like on the back it's a really nice card i thought this one was pretty good it's a little off center but still really nice condition 6.5 this one sold for 55 bucks i had it at my store i think for a little bit too much i priced it pretty high i think i had it at like 70 dollars somebody sent me an offer of 55 plus shipping and i went ahead and took it luckily i got enough room on the desk for that one I do got to spin around and get another one. So I, I do this slowly. I've had a couple complaints that I spin too fast when I do some of these videos. And this is another card of items that I have listed on eBay. Now, I know I just listed this one yesterday. So it's going to be in this front area somewhere right here. Ronald Acuna Jr. But if you look, there's no name on the front. And that's what makes this card, we'll say, special. Normally, it would have a name right there above where it says Outfield. Gypsy Queen, no nameplate variation. This one sold for $10 plus shipping. So yeah, I got $10 plus a dollar with eBay standard envelope to send that one out. So we can put that one on top right there. That's going to work out pretty good. And then we're going to flip back here, see what else I sold. Because sometimes I don't remember all the different things that sold. So one, two more items. Is that it? Did we already pull six items? We pulled one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, there's one more in the garage. Let's go get that last one from the garage first. And then we'll come back and get those last couple things that are inside. I know, Mike, I don't want to watch you walk through the garage door again. That's not a terribly exciting video, but you know what? You just watched me do it, so don't complain. We got to go up here. We got to go to the poster box. It's kind of collapsing a little bit. It's got too much weight on top of it, but I need... Is this really my last one of these or not? It feels like there's two, but we're going to take it inside and look. I sold this poster here. Can you tell what it is? It says ABC right there. Oh, you can see the year 2004. So let's get in here, go through the garage door for the last time, get back into the office and check out this poster. Now it's a big poster, so it's gonna be kind of hard to, uh, to unravel it with one hand. You will see in the pop-up much better. This is a 2004 Oscars poster. And the artist was some guy that was fairly popular. I bought, oh, what did I buy? Like eight or 10 of these at a local thrift store for a buck a piece. And this one sold probably through offer. I think it sold for $21.99. Maybe that's my asking price. I can't remember. Either way, we'll just put that into a mailing tube, send it out. It goes pretty easy. Yeah, this says it was my last one here. Let's take a look. So there's Oscar posters. Look, out of stock. I had nine of them. Nine of them at $21.99. That was a pretty good deal for a buck a piece. And there's what the poster looks like. Again, just in case you didn't see it well in the pop up when I put it up there. So yeah, that poster I'm going to ship out, I'm going to go into a mailing tube and uh, go pretty easy. All right, let's flip around. I'm getting out of breath. I think I'm talking too fast. We'll walk around. We got to find something that's, oh, I actually even see it right there next to Minnie Mouse. See that little purple thing? That's what I need. This right here. That was, that was easy find. Mutant Crawl Classics role playing game. And this is the judges screen. So like in Dungeons and Dragons, you'd be the dungeon master. In here, you're the judge. So this thing opens up with all like the rules for the judge when they're playing this game. I found a bunch of this Mutant Crawl classic stuff. Oh, at this point, it's been a couple years ago. But I actually think this might be the last thing that I have from that game available. And sold, uh, I had it for 10 bucks and 10% off, $8.99 plus shipping. So not very expensive. But when you pay a dollar for it, you know, you can, you can make little small profits like that. Oop, I'm trying to knock stuff over over here. Let me fix that. Last thing is a baseball right here in these baseball boxes. Have them all stacked up. Oh, look, it's even sticking its head out the side. This is the one that I need right there. Phoenix Firebirds. I went to a lot of minor league games way back in the day with my dad. And this one's pretty cool. This is a 1995 Phoenix Firebirds like team signed ball. It's got, I don't know, what's it look like on there? 15 different signatures. Pretty cool. So yeah, that sold through an offer. They got my store for 20 and I sent a 20% offer. So they got it for $15.99 plus shipping. So we got room for that on the desk as well. So that's everything that sold. That was, uh, like I said, that was 300 and some odd dollars. Uh, eight items, three, th $366.93. And I got a couple of more deal deals brewing that I sent offers on and uh, stuff. So hopefully I'll have some more today. But now, oh, why am I so tired today? out of breath all right let's talk about what i'm taking out to my collectibles booth yeah we're not even going to flip the screen around we're just going to do it like this 
why not? Uh, you guys always want to know, what, what do I take out to my booth? What do I sell? Stuff like this that I find brand new in thrift stores. We got Monster. I'm surprised this thing's like $12. Actually, if you look on eBay, they're probably like $15. But I'm going to price mine at $12. Picked it up for it was priced I think two forty nine so I got it for like two bucks. Uh, this here surprisingly goes for about twenty on eBay, but it, it seems a little high. Uh, there's only a few available, and it's not like one of the main characters. It's not Optimus Prime. It's not uh, Bumblebee. So this is uh, what's his name? Uh, right here. His name's right here. Wedge the construction bot. You remember that guy? But yeah, I'll put that for fifteen bucks in my booth. Found this really cool Harry Potter. You got the golden snitch here in this dome. But this is supposed to be a tap light. There's supposed to be a plug that was that goes with it. I didn't get the plug, but I still think this is a pretty cool little display. So I'll put that in my booth for 10. If I had the plug and everything, I could probably get a little bit more. I do this stuff all the time. So I buy these when I can find them cheap, either at thrift stores, the local auction, the sports auction. These, these little ball and car displays sell for like $10 just by themselves if you get them new. So I'll throw a baseball that I got a bunch of in, and then I'll throw a card, in this case, uh, Luis Gonzalez, who had the game-winning hit in the 2001 World Series. And I'll put this in my booth for like 12 bucks. Same with this one. I just took a Cubs baseball, put it with Mark Grace fan favorite. Same thing, and I'll get like 12 bucks for those. I picked up a box of these rack packs when I was at the card show up in uh, Las Vegas. So I'll put those in my booth. I think I priced them at 275 per rack pack. And I don't take them all at once. So I'll take like eight rack packs and uh, we'll get those on the shelf. Oop, there's one more there. Then we got a couple poos back here. Yeah, I found these brand new in the store, old Disney store tagged. We got uh, like train engineer Winnie. And then we got like fisherman Winnie, not big profit items. I bought them for a buck a piece. And I think I'm going to price them at seven. This was a couple different uh, comic books. This one actually got trashed at uh, my booth. It was there before, but someone took it out of the packaging and messed it all up. So I just had to bring it back home and rewrap it. That's like a seven dollar uh, trade paperback and then i just picked these two up yesterday at a thrift store these are these really big fat complete collections so this is the astonishing ant-man it's just got everything ant-man inside now they did have them priced at seven dollars and 49 cents at that store but surprisingly this actually has some decent value of course i got to use my 20 percent off coupon got them for you know about 550 i'm gonna put it in my booth for 15 so that one's gonna go for 15 my booth then we got gambit from the x-men the complete collection but that one's part two same sort of thing you yeah, got a ton in there this is a really really fat book same sort of thing so 15 bucks a piece on each of those i'm gonna scroll down scroll how do i scroll uh a bunch of these bond card holders yeah i actually found these on tuesday uh, today's thursday so two days ago found them at a thrift store dollar a piece they're gonna go in my booth for five a piece not huge profit but you're, you're getting $4. Well, they're going to keep their 50% commission at the store. So I'm going to make like three fifty dollars on each of them. Not huge profit, but they'll sell pretty quickly. Of course, it's an Arizona Cardinal sign. Just one of these cheap wood signs that you find in Michael's and those type of stores. It was, I think it was like $2. I'm going to put it in my store for like seven fifty. We got a couple boxes of this. I bought nearly a full case of the Stadium Club baseball boxes for 10 bucks a piece up in uh, Las Vegas. They're going to go for 25 in my booth. I sealed them up nice. Yeah, the, these I just got some more uh, shrink wrap. So I sealed those up so people can't get into the boxes and check them out. What else do we got? We got a Lego movie poster down here. That's going to go in the booth for like $10. Do I have anything else that's sitting on the floor for the booth? i just give you another little scroll. You can look out in the backyard, see my neighbor's tree. See our swimming pool back there. Go Bills. We got the Buffalo Bills sign. Where there's my boxes. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just going around and showing stuff. You want to see my group collection? Well, first let's check out the Star Wars Lego. Now, if you haven't seen these in the store, there's a few more back there too. I don't, I don't have room to display them all. So we got Mandalorian, we got Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, Scout Trooper, Darth Vader, and Luke Skywalker's helmet. Those are all pretty cool. They're actually coming out with a few more different troopers, so those will be added to the collection pretty soon. Look. We got Batman, Batman, Iron Man, more different Star Wars ones back there. I can't even fit them all. All right, let's say hi to Groot, Groot and Rocket. We got Groot and Rocket. I don't know why. All of a sudden, I started having an appreciation for Groot and Rocket. There's Groot Lego. There's my big Groot go up there. Oh, my pops, that Groot sign. Look at that one. How cute is that? Look at cute Groot right there and cute Rocket right here. Don't press the button, Groot. Don't do it. More stuff back there. And of course, we got Lego Thor's hammer just because we didn't have anywhere else to put this one in. Of course, we got the Noid. What's the Noid doing in there? Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just showing you stuff because I don't know what else to do today. Here's some of my collection back here. 
These are all these are all sealed. I know there's a lot of glare. Let's see if I do like this. These are all sealed by BBC. Yeah, I bought these several years back in investment. Look, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back Series 3, Return of the Jedi, a couple of those boxes, hockey, football, football, 1984 Tops Baseball. That's a pretty expensive box wrapped. 86 Tops. Those are all Tops. Got that one. We got some traded sets down here. Some more boxes. What else we got? I found this at a thrift store once. Sealed Burger Time for Intellivision. I never sold it. Come on, it's sealed. I found it like that. Same with this right here. Brand new sealed Mario Kart for Wii. It was $2.49 at a thrift store when a cart came out, so I picked that up and grabbed it. Yeah, what else can I show in here? I haven't sold that WC Fields. It's still back there. That mini still here. There's some cool stuff in here. That's my Sandy Koufax baseball. I got him to sign that in person. That was kind of cool. A couple cards. Those belong to my grandfather, so those are part of my collection. Those actually aren't for sale. I don't know. What am I doing now? What else is over here? You want to see some pictures that I have on the wall? We got Fitzgerald, Pat Tillman, Troy Aikman, and Andre Reed. We got my pennant collection back here. I'd like to like to do this whole wall. I actually kind of want to get rid of those and get more of the pennants. So we got some Buffalo Bills, some local Phoenix Roadrunners. We got the Buffalo Sabres and some cool Phoenix Suns ones. I just want the retro older Suns ones. So we got 92, 93. That one's 93. And I think that one's probably from uh, 90s, maybe 80s or 90s, but it's got the cool sun's colors. I don't know. Is that it? Is that all I'm showing you today? Let's go up here. Why not? We got the uh, we got the Miracle on Ice celebration. We got some stuff up here. That's me. Does that look like me? We got Walter Payton. We got these cool little little people. We got He-Man. We got Run DMC, and we got the office behind there. A couple of my trophies right there. <laughs> all right, I took a LeBron head and put it on top of my trophy. Why not? All right, I think that's it. All right, let's turn back around. All right, how did you like the videos today? It was a little bit different. Kind of did some different stuff, and I don't know. I kind of just got started doing some random stuff. Anyway, for Groot and that reseller guy, I hope you have a great day, great weekend, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Boop.